Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings. Hello Anson. Cheers. My name's Michael Jex. I'm the author of 44 books now I think and today for a change I thought I'd better talk about some books because I haven't ever mentioned this one before. So I started writing a new series about four years ago. I was perfectly happy with all the other books I've written, don't get me wrong, but you can have enough of crime. The last Templar series, the Templar series, is 32 books long now, and although there's been some humorous books in there, it's a fairly serious series of crime books. Longest running crime book series, I'm told by Shots Magazine, of any living author, 32 books, so that's quite pleasing. But I decided I wanted something a little bit more light-hearted. And I had this idea about an assassin in the age of Bloody Mary and I thought the idea of someone who's stuck in the politics, who's finding life really difficult, would be quite interesting. And so I invented this character, Black Jack, Jack Black Jack. Jack Black Jack. Try saying that in a hurry. And Jack is an incompetent coward who's a pickpocket. He's quite a good pickpocket. He's quite competent at that. Um, he's convinced that he's every woman's dream, um, but unfortunately his perception of other people's view of him is not very good. And he gets involved in a killing and he's witnessed shortly afterwards and the person who sees him shortly afterwards is in need of an assassin. So he hires Jack as an assassin and Jack likes that because as an assassin he gets a house and he gets food and board paid for, he gets all the best clothes, he's a very happy person. The only trouble is that he really hates the sight of blood and he doesn't like the thought of killing people. And unfortunately, in a missed murder, he has been told he's got to kill someone. So Jack being moderately sensible, he already knows several people in the underworld and he subcontracts the murder to someone else. He thinks that's sorted, and then he goes out for the evening to make sure he's got a really good alibi. And the book starts when, unfortunately, a messenger comes to tell him that actually it was the wrong murder, he mustn't kill that person, uh, and this is somebody else that he has to kill instead. So Jack starts off having to hurtle across London to try to prevent his subcontractor from murdering someone, which, if he dies, will get Jack into a lot of trouble. Sounds a bit convoluted. Well, it is actually. Jack, in the meantime, has to cope with Spanish agents, French agents. There's a lot of turmoil going on because Mary announces that she's pregnant and then in the middle of the book, her baby apparently is born. This all happened, but uh, unfortunately there wasn't actually a baby. So it caused a certain amount of confusion, not only in England, but also ac across Europe. So Jack is in the middle of interesting times and there is no finer curse. So that is just a quick run through of that book and the series. If you like your murders a little bit more humorous, give them a try. I like them. I think they're very good. They actually make me laugh while I'm working on them and it's a little bit embarrassing when you're sitting on a train editing one of your own books and you laugh aloud at some of the dialogue you've written. But I'm not big-headed, I'm quite proud of the fact that it still makes me laugh. So I hope you like that. I'll put a link through at the bottom of the page here so that if you want to go and look them up, I'll point you out to where to go on the internet for them. Do please like it, subscribe, add any comments. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about with writing or my books or anything, please let me know. I'd be delighted to help you. And apart from that, I'll go back to my cup of tea. Thanks a lot. Bye. Cheers.